I'll be right back, sweetheart. <clears throat> We were just playing penguins. Hi, Emma. Hi. So, what's up? Oh, I just thought I'd pop over. You know, see Ryan, take him out for a beer, raise a glass to the new baby. Oh, that's very sweet, but he's actually not home. Oh, it's not? Oh, OK, another time then. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm a little tired, but I'm good. I must say you're really handling this um, extraordinarily well. Thank you. Yeah, it's strange. The good and the bad kind of balance each other out. I mean, my brother's dead. But now we're bringing a new life into the world. It's a lot to deal with, though. Yeah, but I'm managing. Not alone, though, right? What do you mean? Well, you couldn't pull off something this big without help. I mean it, Greenlee. Uh, you really, truly deserve everything that you want. After three near-death experiences, I think so, too. Four, actually, if you count the trapeze on the roof with you. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> God, that seems so long ago, doesn't it? Yeah. Then, then no. We were so different back then. You were so lost and angry, and I was trying to build a life that was so wrong. And look at us now. Sometimes it takes almost losing everything to know what really matters. Wow. Really smart. You almost sound zen. <laughs> Freaky, right? I even scared myself the other day. Really? What happened? You almost gave away all your material possessions? Worse. I told my dad that if he wants Erica back, he should go for it. Come and listen to me. We want to make the best possible impression on this judge. How's Erica? So, Erica is Erica. She's you know, just, she's. You seen her since she got sprung? I'd like to go back to discussing your case. Can we do that, please? I bet that first kiss set off smoke alarms. No kiss. I'm Erica's attorney, Carmen, and I'm your attorney, and I would like Forget to go back to. Forget about me. You gotta patch things up with your lady. She just got out of prison. Trust me, it won't be that hard. Erica and I are fine, okay? No, no drama, no excitement. Just the way I like it. Ah, right this way, Miss Kay. Thank you. Erica, Mr. Wood, Mr. Wood. There you go. Ah, one more smile. No, Mr. Ah! 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 It's wonderful to see you, really. But I think that everybody else here would just like to enjoy their dinner. I'm sorry. I got excited. It's OK. Right here, right here. Is that your daughter? Hey. And that's her husband, right? Sweet hunk of man. Right here, right here. Oh, look, that's Sammy. One more over here. One more. One more. See you together. There you go, there you go. Well, the four of us are having dinner together. Don't move. All right, here we go. Let's go. Where? Nice, nice. To keep the love of your life from getting away. Perfect. Perfect. Come on. All right. Oh, Kane, over here. Okay, that's enough. Oh, there you go. Come on, give me more. Okay, Mom, our table's ready. Uh, Erica, perfect, what's the story perfect. with you and Samuel perfect. Woods? Perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Come on, we just stop with the. Erica and Sammy are just friends, but if you don't get over there. Sit down. Come on, Sit Jack. Down. Please, you have to do this. I told you, man. Mm. Yeah, you did. You probably get a lot of that on the campaign trail, huh? Do we kiss some babies, shake a few hands, but this is a different level. All right, all right. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Hello, hey, Jack. Hi, hi, hi. I have your next book right here. There you go. First book, Charm. Yeah? Second book, Carm. Short for Carmen. Oh. <laughs> well, you look very nice this evening. Well, thank you. So does Carmen. Yeah, doesn't she look beautiful? Mm -hmm. yeah, we're actually uh, discussing her new trial. Over dinner. How cozy. 
So you and Sam, Kendall, Zach, I didn't realize you all were so well acquainted. Oh, well, it was supposed to be just the two of us. But then the two became four. Why not let the four become six? We'd be delighted. I'll speak to the maitre d'. So I see you haven't broken your new toy yet. I don't play with toys anymore. Emma, sweetheart, will you go put on your PJs for mommy? You. Okay, Mom. Okay. Um, so I'm sorry, what were you saying? I, I couldn't pull off what without help. Oh, I'm just saying, you know, um, you know, you've got a kid, you've got a job, you've got another baby on the way, and you just lost your brother. What's your point? Well, you're dealing with a lot. I just thought you must have some kind of help. You know, a nanny or Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I'll probably get somebody full time once the baby's born. You don't have anyone helping you out with Emma now? Oh, well, Karina's here a lot. <sighs> anyone else? Once in a while. Like who? Why are you asking me this? I'm just curious. Come on, Aiden. What do you really want to know? This new take on life that you have, it looks really good on you. Really? Well, check this out. I forgave Kendall, too. I thought you guys looked pretty chummy. I knew it was only a matter of time before you found your way back. Yeah, I can push her away, pretend I don't need or love her in my life, but I do. I always will. You know? Yeah, I do. I know exactly what that feels like. Have you hung out with her lately? With Kendall? Yeah, I've seen her. Has she been acting kind of strange? Strange how? Evasive. Like she'll start something and then she pulls back. She's probably still weirded out about Richie. Yeah, probably. And I have this feeling that she's not being straight with me. Especially about you. You and Kendall talking about me behind my back, that is so completely not cool. Ryan, I'm serious. Have you told Kendall something that you haven't told me? I'm not very good at this. At what? Small talk. You know, with my special ops training, sometimes I come across like I'm interrogating someone. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, how are things going with you? How's Greenlee? She gave us a bit of a scare recently. Luckily, Ryan was there to save the day. Yeah, thank God for that, right? So, how are things going with you two? Well, we're back together. Oh, that's great. When's the wedding? We haven't really got back to the engagement part yet, so... Oh, well, if you're really in love, I mean, why wait? <laughs> if it was up to me, Annie, I'll get married tomorrow, but I'm kind of, you know, just waiting on Greenlee's lead. Well, I bet Greenlee is secretly waiting for you to take the romantic lead. Trust me, you get that girl down the aisle. The Kendall-Greenlee rivalry is still going strong. What are you talking about? You can't stand Kendall knowing something that you don't. Does she? You are paranoid. I am not. Yes, you are. You are just as competitive as ever. Uh, Kendall's been trying to keep up with me for years. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, <laughs> maybe I go a little nuts when it comes to you and Kendall. What can I say? Old habits die hard. Well, you have nothing to worry about. You got your memory back and you didn't even tell me. Because you were in the hospital. So? You're one of my closest friends, Ryan. You can come to me anytime about anything. As long as I come to you before I go to Kendall. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I'm just a hopeless groupie <laughs> that worships at the altar of the great god, Brian. As you should. I worship you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's true. I was sitting right here and I told Aiden that I was still in love with you. Seriously? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I told him that we were running off together. And how did that go over? Well, you should have seen his face. For a second, I could swear that he thought I was serious. <laughs> it's funny, right?